Imagine a dark, stormy night. There's thunder crashing against your house, lightning's going off all over the place. All of a sudden, it becomes very quiet. The lights are still on, you're fine. Well, to your luck, they start flickering and go out. What's your immediate reaction? Go find a flashlight, right? Okay, so you go find your flashlight, you turn it on, and it's slowly dying. What do you do now? All right, well today, um, according to my friends at about.com for a little bit of help, <laughs> I have found out an alternative way to make a light source. And by this, I mean make Mountain Dew glow in the dark. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures, and I do not have Mountain Dew, so water is going to be the substitute today. All right, today I'm going to show you the methods, the steps, and the risk factors of making Mountain Dew glow in the dark. All right, to start off, you're going to need to collect all of your ingredients. For this experiment, you're going to need hydrogen peroxide, a liquid source, scissors, Dawn dish soap, baking soda, not crack, <laughs> <laughs> so, for the first step in this experiment, you're going to start off by unscrewing the cap off of your water bottle. The next thing you want to do is take the Dawn dish soap and just put a little tiny squirt into the water bottle, like this. And then you're going to want to swirl it around. The next step in your experiment is going to be to take the glow sticks, and you're going to want to cut them up. Normally, I would take this and cut it in half and let it drain, but for time's sake, I'm going to cut it up in little pieces and just stick it straight into the water bottle. So the thing with glow sticks is you have to be very careful because they contain toxic elements such as acetaminophen and dibutylpropyl which can cause irritation to the skin and eyes. And I learned this through a analysis of an article and this was called uh, Children Can Glow Sticks Be Harmful? So that's what I got it from. So you want to be very careful not to get it on your skin or in your eyes or in your mouth. So you want to cut this up into the water bottle. And another thing I learned that it's very important to have glow sticks around your house in case this happens. Uh, according to USA Today, it is upon the numbers of different elements that you want to have in case of an emergency. And this cost me around $3 at Walmart for 12 of these, so it's not that expensive. All right, the next step in your experiment is that you're going to want to take your hydrogen peroxide and put about two to three capfuls full into the water bottle. So I'm going to do that.
So in conclusion, you want to start off with all of your ingredients, and then you're going to want to do step one, so pour out most of the Mountain Dew, except a little bit. And then the next step is to take your dish soap and put it into the water bottle. Then you're going to want to cut the glow stick, and then two to three capfuls of hydrogen peroxide into the water bottle. And then you're going to want to add just a pinch of baking soda. And then you want to shake. <laughs> And then, voila, oh, wow. it closes the door. So there's my step-by-steps of how to make water or Mountain Dew glow in the dark in case you've ever found yourself without power and need a way to see. So there are my methods, explanations, and the risks of making water glow in the dark. So if you're ever in a pickle, and need a little something to tickle your fancy in your free time, <laughs> now you know it's something that will brighten up your day and leave the room glowing. All right. <laughs>